St. John, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, so God bless this person that is about to listen to this authentic message. Oh God, let them know that it's not just to be a fan, but to be a follower of Jesus. Not to be just a, sh a goat, but a sheep. Not to be just a, 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 a tear, but to be a, a wheat. Bless this person right now. Just now pray. Amen. St. John, the sixth chapter. Hey, glory to God. St. John, the sixth chapter, verse 64. And it read, but there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, who were, who should betray him. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come after me except he were given him of the Father. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, will he go also away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou have the word of eternal life. And we believe that are sure that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. My message today, the glory to God, is dealing with prospectors and participators. Prospectors or participators. Which one are you? I we see that Jesus Christ was talking to a multitude of people. Hey, glory to God. And, when, and the reason why I say Jesus Christ, I'm making this message today is, uh, are you a prospector or are you a partic participator? Because Jesus Christ was preaching and he preached this. He said, verily, I'm reading St. John, the sixth chapter, verse 53. And he said, then, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, he have no life in you. Hey, glory to God. Verse 54. Whosoever eat of my flesh and drink of my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in them as the living father have sent me I live by the father so he that eateth me even he shall live by me this is the bread which came down from heaven not as the father not as your father did eat manner and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever now, hey, glory to God. Now, Jesus was talking. He was not talking about cannibalism. He's not talking about eating the flesh. Hallelujah. He, this was a hyper, hyper. He was talking about glory to God. He's going to Calvary. He talking about the communion, eating the bread and drinking the blood, which is to represent the wine. But a lot of people take it offensive. And the reason why I say people take it offensive because in verse 59 of St. John's 6th chapter, verse 59, these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of the disciples, when they heard this, what they heard, they heard Jesus Christ say, you're going to drink my blood and eat my flesh. This is a hard saying, who can hear it? Now, these are the people that were prospectors. They was just critics. Hey, glory to God. They was one to criticize. They was the. They are the fans. Hey, glory to God, and not the followers. The fans get offended. What Jesus was saying. Hey, glory to God. And the reason why I say that, my friend, because Jesus Christ said in verse sixty-one, He said, "Then Jesus knew in Himself that the disciples murmured at it." He said unto them, "Does this offend you?" Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm here to tell somebody, are you a prospector or are you a participator? Because a participator wouldn't, glory to God, get offended of drinking the blood and eating the flesh of Jesus. Hey, glory to So Jesus Christ say, Jesus, Jesus, when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, does this offend you? 
Hallelujah. And verse 62, what? And if he shall see the Son of Man ascended up where he was before. Verse 63, it is the spirit that quicken the flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So everything that's in the Bible, my friend, they are none, they are none just words just be said and that's it. But these are spirit. God's word is spirit. He said, I send forth my word and heal them. So anytime you read the Bible, you can't read the Bible, glory, glory to God, from your head. You can't read the Bible from your natural senses. You got to read the Bible through a spiritual glass, through a spiritual sense, my friend. Hey, glory to God, because Jesus Christ said in verse 62, he said, but there are some of you that believe not. There are a lot of people, though they read the Bible, they still don't believe Jesus. Hey, a lot of people don't believe in heaven, don't believe in hell, don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. They believe Jesus Christ was just a teacher. He was just a prophet. But I come and stop by to tell somebody, Jesus Christ is more than a teacher. He's more than a prophet. Hey, what I say? Jesus Christ is more than what we think he is. He's more than just a man. He's a, he's glory to God. He's God. Hey, glory to God. So the only way people can 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 grasp this, my friend, you gotta be hey, glory, a participator. A participator is a person that believe. A participator is a person, glory to God, been washed. A person that been born again. A person, hey, glory to God, not just a a standby, but a person that participate. Just like the woman at the well. Just like the woman, glory to God, that healed. Hallelujah. She was glory to God. The, I spent all her money. Hey, glory to God. And one day, hallelujah, she heard Jesus was coming to town. And the Bible says she got on her knees and touched the hem of Jesus Christ's garment. And Jesus Christ's garment healed. Let the garment heal her. Her faith in Jesus Christ heal her. Look at, the, look at Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was short of stature. And he climbed up on a sycamore tree. The, the centurion said, don't just come to my house. But speak the word. I come and tell somebody, my friend, are you a prospector or are you a participator? A participator is a person that believes that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe that Jesus Christ is King of King, believe that Jesus Christ is coming back one day. And I come and tell somebody, my friend, just don't participate, just don't be a prospector. Prospectors just go to church, they're just church goers. I say they're just church goers, my friend. They don't want to participate. They don't want to be born again. They don't want to be saved. They don't want to be sanctified. They don't want to be a holy roller. They don't want to scream. They don't want to holler. They just come to church. Glory to God. Just prospect. Just to, to see who's there. Oh, glory to God. They go to church just for the fish and the load. They go to church, my friend, for entertainment. They go to church for the features. Hey, glory to God. My children. Hey, my children used to go to children's church for the for the for the for the uh, uh the chips and the juice, and that's it. And I see the pretty shoes, and that's it, my friend. You can't go to church for the food. You gotta go to church for the spiritual food, not just the natural food. And a lot of people gonna miss heaven because they are prospectors. They're not participator. Participator is a person that receives the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, repent and be baptized every one of you for the remission of sin and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to my children. He glory to God. So just don't be, he glory to God, a prospector. Just don't be a person that's come to be nosy. Don't be a person that's come, hey, go to God. That's all you come for is to be nosy. Come, You come for a wrong reason. The church is not just a hotel. The church is not a place to hang out. The, person, the church is not a place to go to, to play bingo. The church is not a place to, to be entertained and sing and go to and go home and fall asleep. But a church, just because if I be lifted from the earth, I draw all men unto him. So the purpose of the church, my friend, is to save your soul from Satan. Hey, go, hey, the purpose of the church, my friend, the Bible says my house is called a house of prayer, but not a damn thief. So these people, 
They think Jesus Christ, hey, glory to God, was preaching cannibalism. They think Jesus was talking about Draculinism. Hey, glory to God. But they never know that Jesus Christ was talking about Calvary. He talking about one day he going to go to Calvary and die for, for mankind. The greatest verse of scripture in the Bible, my friend, hallelujah, is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, my friend, just don't be a prospector, be a participator. Are you a participator? Hallelujah. Now, people go to church, my friend, and you can't tell them if they go to church or not because they're still drinking, they're still smoking, they're still sexing, being single, my friend. They still commit adultery, they're still cussing, they're still fighting, my friend. They're still holding grudges. Those are pr prospectors and not participators. So, what you sing in the choir? So, what you usher? So, what you run program in church? But are you. How you participator of the word? The Bible says, just don't be hearers of the word, but be doers. Just don't be hear the word of God. Just don't give, give God lip service and not your life. The Bible says, love the Lord with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your every being, every fiber of your body. You ought to love God. You can't just participate, my friend, and just don't, hallelujah, uh, uh, you, you're a hearers of the word, but not a doer, not doing what God tells you to do. So my message is, are you a fan or a follower? Are you a prospector or are you a participator? Are you a sheep or just a goat? Are you a tear or a wheat? What is a wheat? A wheat is a good plan. A tear is a wild plan. A goat is a person that make a lot of noise. They dance and shout. And glory to God, when they get in, 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 get in a situation that cuss you off, they're ready to fight you, my friend. Why? Because they're not a participator of God's word. The saddest verse of scripture is, is John 6, 66. Many disciples walk no more with Jesus.